this computer wakes up with the Welcome to Hemsoft program. It initializes. It starts and it runs a quick job. Now I'm going to change over here left handed. Most of the programming they're going to do with this stuff is going to be a quick job, which is just basic cuts, automatic cuts at a given length, given quantity, and a given angle. To run a quick job, you select run a quick job, press F1. It asks you three things. It asks for a length, an angle, and how many parts you want. If we want a part that's 24 inches long, we tell it's 24 inches. Press enter. It'll ask for an angle. If you want straight 90 degree cuts, we tell it 90 degrees. Press enter. It'll ask how many parts we want. If we want 25 parts, we tell it 25 parts and enter. And then all you have to do to make the thing run is push run. Which I won't do because this machine is not finished. Uh, to bail out of the program, push escape, it goes back to the same opening main menu. Let me do that again. We're going to run a quick job. Run a quick job. Program want the length. We'll tell it 1.5 inches. Clear. 1. Point five. Enter. Inch and a half. We want these 85 degrees for grins. Enter. We want two parts. Two parts. Tell it to run. We'll go back to the main menu. Now we're going to do a somewhat more complicated program. This is a bar where it has uh, a length and an angle. A length and an angle, and a length, and an angle. Uh, that you can't do with a quick job. You have to do this with a program series. And it's really fairly simple. We're going to program this cut first. First, we're going to put in the job data. We have to program three separate jobs. We're going to program job 97. And these job numbers are arbitrary. You can make any job number you want as long as you know where it is. We could program job 1 or job 19 or whatever. I'm going to program job 97. It's going to ask for, we're going to edit uh, the length is going to be uh, 64.768, 64.768, enter, the angle is 68 degrees, 68 degrees, one part. One part. So that job is programmed. Now we're going to program job 98. 98. Enter. Am I blocking the screen? You're okay. The length is 68 degrees or 68 inches. The angle is 112 degrees. Two. Enter. The quantity is going to be one. One. Now we're going to do job 99. The length is 64. Enter. The length is 64.768. Clear. 64.768. The angle is going to be 68 degrees. 68 degrees. Quantity is going to be a one. One. So what we've done is we programmed this job, that job, and that job. Now we're going to put those three jobs into a program. Program data. We'll have to assign it a program number. We'll say it's program 99. So right now we're doing program 99. Now we're going to edit the program. Step one is going to be job 97. Enter. Step two is going to be job 98. Enter. Step three is going to be job 99. Enter. So we program those three jobs into one program. Now to run this program series, we tell it run which program going to be program 99. It'll ask how many times we want to repeat it. We'll repeat it five times. 
by repeating it five times, that means it's going to cut this one, this one, and this one. Then it's going to repeat this one, this one, and this one five times. So it says program 99, repetitions five times. If I press run, it'll run the job. Okay. Let's do that again. Also, you can go back and look at job data. We can back, back, job one is already programmed for one part 22 inches. We can use the arrow keys, you know, or we can edit that. If we go up and look at job 97, this is the one that I just programmed. Job 97, the length is this, the angle is that. Let's show how easy it is to edit. Okay. Uh, let's say we want this to be 65 inches flat instead of 64.768. Press the edit key. Oh. Cursor down to, to length. 64 inches. Enter. So now it's 64 inches. If we want the angle to be 70 degrees instead of 68. We can just go in here and punch in 70. And that's it. If we want to erase the job, we can press clear and it's going to disappear. But all we have to do is escape, and that job, that's what that job is. We can look at job number 98, and it just has a, it, it, it has a memory so it can remember these jobs. Uh, 99 is the last one we programmed. Then your option is you can edit the job all by, or you can run the job all by itself, or you can edit that job. Program data, program 99, we call it program 99. We'll say that it has job 97, 98, and 99 already programmed into it. If you want to run them in different sequence, for instance, let's press edit. We're going to say job 1, we can say that that's 99, 98, we can tell it to run the job backwards. So it goes 99, 98, 97. Just that easy. And if you don't know what a particular job is, you can say, well, what is job 99 exactly? Press the job info key, it'll, it'll tell you that's the length, that's the angle, and that's the quantity. We can go down and look at step two, job 98, job info, that angle, the, uh, that length, that angle, that quantity. That's basic programming. And there will be a pop quiz. <laughs> So that uses the four different keys on the from the main menu. You can run a quick job, and it'll remember what the last quick job was. If you want to change the length, let's say that now we got a different job, 24 inches, we'll tell it, or 12 inches. Uh, we want a 90 degree cut, straight 90, and we need 100 parts, and 12 inches, push run, and that's programming. Sometimes you hate to say that this is programming because this isn't programming. It's not really data entry. It's telling the saw what you want it to do. I want to cut 100 parts, 90 degrees, 12 inches long. And, and you know, people hear the word programming, they think, "Oh my God, I've got to, I've got to have a computer." Well, it, it's, you, you do it all with these keys. Let's go back to the main menu. Okay. So these are the these are the things we've done on the main menu. Uh, there's other things that the, that the computer will tell you. We'll do Alt Menu. Alt Menu allows you to, for instance get into manual mode, system setup, or more. Manual mode, if you want to, you can do four things. You can jog the miter, which means move the arm a certain angle. You can enter a specific angle on miter. If you want it to go to 50 degrees, you punch that. If you want to move the feet a little bit or to a certain distance, like we can tell, enter miter, we can select this. Uh, we can tell it to go to 90 degrees, punch in 90, press enter, and it's going to go to 90 except this is going to say stalled because there's no hydraulic pressure. I can't really miter the arm, so this is going to be an edit. The saw is not really finished yet. Uh, if we want to enter a feed position, we can tell the feed to go to 24 inches, press enter, and it'll go to 24 inches. Except now it won't because there's no feed connected to that side. <laughs> okay. System setup. This is where you do things like uh, 
you have to know what the what the set or what the curve of the blade is. We can set the curve. The default is at 65 thousandths, which is pretty close to what an 042 blade is going to be. If you want to fine tune it to say 68 thousandths, punch in 68 thousandths. Works. You've got to do it in. Uh, and it tells you. I tried to punch in 68. You've got to do it by the decimal. Okay. We're going to edit this point zero six eight. It'll accept that. Normally, once you set curve, you don't have to fiddle with it. There's some people that are doing highly precision stuff where they'll they'll drop the curve value two or three thousandths as the blade wears out. Uh, or if you're going to a white set blade, if you're going from a 5.8 to a 2.3, you may want to fiddle with curve. 65 thousandths is really pretty close. The feed window is how fine the feed will position. The default is five thousandths. That means the shuttle is going to position to within five thousandths that we're exposed to. The window is only five thousandths. That's actually plus or minus two and a half thousandths. For most applications, a feed window of ten thousandths is perfectly adequate because that's plus or minus five. But we sh they, typically they, they ship with a five thousandths window. Feed window saved. Uh, we can set the miter window. The miter window is always a tenth of a degree. You can set it to a half a degree, it's, you're not going to gain anything. This will position to within one tenth of a degree. A tenth of a degree over 12 inches, a tenth of a degree is about 80 thousandths over 12 inches. It's, so that, that's really pretty close. Or 12 thousandths. I forget what the number is. It's really fun. It's within 60 minutes of, of the degree. Save the window. And calibrate system. There are some things that you have to do usually at the start of a shift is to calibrate the tilt, which means you uh, position the blade exactly 90 degrees with a square, push the miter button. When, once the blade is 90 degrees, you push enter and the feed is calibrated, or the tilt is calibrated. With, with calibrate feed, uh, this really doesn't do anything because it calibrates the feed every time it starts a job anyway to find out where zero is. That's all four of those things. More gets into the place where you have to have the security code. And we can look at some of the things on the security code. 4821, enter. You can clear all the jobs. You can clear the programs. You can do some diagnostics. You can look at system parameters. There's a lot of variables in the computer that will fine tune the machine for application things, for feed positioning, tilt positioning, things like that. One of the neat things is diagnostics where you can, for instance, test the display. The display will light up all the way. That shows that every element in the display is working. There's nothing wrong with that particular display. We can look at, uh, we can test the keypad with this button. Let me back up and slow down. Test keypad. What this does, it puts up little dots here on the keypad so that every key will light up. That way we know every key on this thing is working. F1, F2, arrow keys, enter. Every key is working. Escape.